Hey, what's up, Modern Drummer? This is Mike Wengren from Disturbed, and this is my divisive uh, new drum kit for this tour. Fucking Daddy Longlegs just fell down from the flames and just died on the fucking uh, head. Nice. <laughs> oh, really? He's a Daddy Longlegs spider sitting right here. <laughs> Check out that bad boy. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Thank you. All right, so I'm using uh, Pearl Reference One for the drums. I've been with Pearl my whole career. It's a brand new series they just came out with uh, this year. Um, really happy with them. A lot of attack, but also really bright, cuts through the music really well. Um, I got 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and 18 inch toms, 22 inch kicks. And then I'm using, uh, this is uh, an older snare of theirs. I don't believe they make it anymore. It's the Kapoor uh, fiber hybrid snare. Love this bad boy. Um, let me see, I'm a Evans guy as well. My drum heads are Evans. We got the EC2S clears on the top, G1's on the bottom. Snare-wise, we got the hydraulic. The EMAD 2's are the, uh, the kick drum uh, heads. All the hardware is Pearl. Uh, again, been using them my whole career. We, uh, we wanted to do something different this time out and just be something like was just cool and different. So uh, we started this concept based off of a rib cage uh, on the album cover. Our, our, our mascot, we call the guy, he's kind of ripping his chest apart. So we wanted it to kind of emulate a rib cage. And as we started to build it, it really didn't look like a rib cage. And somehow it kind of morphed into more like a chopper, a motorcycle chopper. Um, so the front end has got a bit of a rake to it. And uh, we even have like some tailpipes in the back here. And during the show, we actually have cryo that launches off of these tubes emulating like uh, uh, exhaust. I got Sabian as my symbols. I can go crazy with all the rundowns and stuff, but maybe we'll just put that online or something. Vader drumsticks. My own signature model. Been using these guys for a long time, love them. Stick bag. Yeah, Humesenberg Galaxy. I love it. It's just, you put a lot of sticks in that bad boy. I like to just kind of, it just sits right there and I got extra ones right off the bat. And so. Tell me about that ride. Huge. The ride. Okay, so yeah, this is, this is a 23 inch Sabian. They call it an override. Um, I don't believe they're making them anymore. I think it's in, it's in the vault series now. Like they're special one-offs. And I believe actually this was created by Jimmy DeGrasso, I think, with the uh, artist who helped design that. I love it because it's got a great big bell, uh, great for, uh, you know, uh, great big uh, bell sounds. It's got great ping, uh, really cuts through. It's a pain in the neck to have to make room for it when you're putting a kit together. Uh, <laughs> but I love it. I use a, a Porter and Davies uh, a throne, my, my kicks. Uh, are pumped in through here and uh, you can feel it like in your chest So the kit I mean it's a reference one kit, but we did a lot of custom work to it The shells themselves are actually wrapped 
by a company uh, called Six Skins. Uh, we did a special rap and um, we kind of did a blend uh, on the album cover. There's a, a special edition uh, of the album artwork where our mascot, the guy, his face is split where one side is uh, uh, like uh, breaking through glass. It's like ice cold. The other side is through flames. So we did the same exact thing with the drum kit. It's kind of split down the middle, like right here in the middle, Tom. This has kind of got the fire side and this has kind of got the cold side. In addition to that, one of the most exciting things for me, my buddy Colin, who uh, owns and operates Assault Life Defense, they're actually a firearms company. We did a Cerakote, uh, all the, the hardware, um, the rims here, everything you see has got a, a, a really awesome matte finish. It was pretty painstaking to have that done, but I think it adds a really cool element um, between the wrap, the artwork, and then the flat back, flat black finish. What are you, uh, are you controlling anything from here? I am, I am actually. I, I have, uh, I got a couple of electronic pads and we have like some loops and some sequences that we use as segues in between songs. So uh, I'm triggering those. Uh, I like to use an iPad for my set list because it, you know, it, it lights up, right? Uh, I don't have to put a light on it on a piece of paper. We have locate points in case we need to uh, go uh, in between songs. Yes. So you're using the, uh, the curved boom sand? Yes. This is also a newer style uh, piece of hardware that Pearl came up with. Um, so we incorporated it with, uh, with the crashes, the chinas here, and even our, our overhead mics. Uh, I think it helps complement the look. Everything's sort of universal and symmetrical. Uh, it definitely looks like a vehicle. You know? Yeah, it's, it's, like it's, it's fun to drive. Yeah. It's fun to drive every night, you know? <laughs> Favorite song to play live? Um, let me see. I, I like. It's always, you know, it's always fun to to, to sit back and and um, just lay down a groove and have like a simpler song, you know. And that way you can just kind of interact with the crowd and feel the energy. But I mean, come on, as a drummer, we all like to play, right? So I like some of the songs that are a little more challenging. And one of those is called uh, uh, Ten Thousand Fists. Um, it's usually earlier in the set. A um, little more challenging. Double kicks are going underneath it. I'm kind of playing like a polyrhythm with the with the uh, toms over over the top of it, and that's actually uh, meant to somewhat emulate and syncopate the guitar rhythms. So that was a little more fun to play. Before I go on tour, I mean, I'm I'm in the gym constantly. I mean, it's a very physical job. What we all do as drummers. And so you gotta stay healthy, man. You gotta try and find a really good balance out there. I still like to come out and have a really good time and enjoy myself, but you know, you got, especially as you get older, you gotta stay fit, so. On show days, I actually have a, a Roland V-Drum kit that travels with in the dresser room. We usually have like a little jam room set up. Uh, sometimes we'll actually throw like random songs, we'll switch the song out here in the set so we kind of need to sort of refresh our memory of how the song goes and plays, but it's really good to warm up. I do a lot of stretches, uh, sort of yoga style stuff that I just kind of, you know, felt what works for me over the years. Uh, and it's just about really getting in that headspace. Like we locked the dressing room down an hour before at least, and um, I have an espresso machine in my dressing room case, make a little espresso, put some tunes on, stretch, warm up, just kind of, you know, get in the zone. We can always all get better, right? One of the things I love about coming out on tour with, with uh, other drummers is watching what they do um, and trying to pick up, like, you know, you sit back there, you watch what they're doing, and you kind of say, oh, I'm gonna swipe that. I'm, I'm, gonna stay, I'm gonna steal that little piece there. So it's kind of fun, you know? 
It's like summer camp sometimes when we're on these big, big tours or big festivals as well. Modern Drummer was a part of my childhood for sure. And uh, one of the things I remember most is I was a big Tommy Lee fan when I was growing up. And I remember like, he was on the cover several times and you know, you, you, you put the cover, uh, uh, rip the, tear the cover off and hang that sucker on my wall next to the Tommy Lee posters. And I just thought to myself, you know, one day, how badass that would that be if I could just, you know, not just have a band in play, but maybe, maybe someday I'd be good enough to be on the cover, right? Or at least be in the magazine, right? What kid doesn't want that, right? Yeah. Now I get to sit here and talk to you guys and you're filming me and I'm like, this is insane, man. Like, what are we doing here? <laughs> Thanks for coming out and checking out my uh, my drum kit today. I'm gonna do my best to try and stay cool over here and uh, nice, hot, and humid West Palm Beach, Florida, and get ready for a show tonight. <laughs>